Nope, 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 no idea who these people are. Right, this is a survival play with some commentary. So first of all, map loads to show where we will be going, in this case Swamp. Load up with perks that would go well with each map. Choose a character that fits your playstyle. So for example, Jane is the best runner in this game. Tim is good at bodyguarding people. Pay is sort of like jack of all trade, and Yuri is Bay. And run Nipa on if you want to draw aggression. Trust me, it does work <laughs> because they're the first one to always go. They're easy yeah, to chase. Right, so when you start, obviously, the first thing you do is always start by opening all doors where possible in hospitals as well. Uh, map layout is always the same, so if you, if you memorize map ma layout, it will always be the same. You can find riches easily by their aura and noise they make. They make that wind, so wind sound. Now, these ritual chests are RNG, so what they spawn is always oh different. My God, are you fucking me? Uh, if you get the nails, not the incense, then drop it at the nearest ritual point, so people who has incense can just put it in straight away. My RNG in these rituals are pretty terrible. Every time I do chest, it just nails. And I find incense in the middle of nowhere all the time. You know for a fact that every time I touch chest, it's just nails. Nails, nails. Oh no, it's right. I'm sure you can use this animation as well. But we'll see. Like that placing into A minute into the game basically this person's dead already. Um you in Solo already? Queue, you kind of have to decide whether you want to res that person or not. Seriously. If the person did not last long enough in a chase, is it worth resing the person? Especially if it's Jay, because Jay can save res, right? So you can just leave her and she'll resurrect anyway. So it's worth taking your life down the line to resurrect that person. You kind of have to make a decision. Sometimes you just have to. It sounds unfortunate, but it is what it is. So I got nail. It looks like, and she's got nail, and we just, just fucks up everything. But she's fine. I know where the other retro is, at least you can okay, see, yeah. like I said, by auras. So you can replace it there. Now, these traps are not exactly a good placement oh. there. The traps last for two minutes. Where the hell is the if you watch any of other my videos, you will see oh the traps last two yeah, minutes long. So it's not really worth doing the traps unless you're doing the rituals. Health potions. Never take it yourself. Never carry it around yourself. Just drop it on the floor. Ping it so somebody else can grab it. Ah, uh, and this person ca was carrying the incense as well. Move. Right, so this is bug, oh, there's an invisible wall that we, can't, we can go down, but you can't go up. Oh, That's been move. fixed, I believe. Move. No. You can't move. So, yeah, this is this is not looking good. We got oh, two people God. stuck in the swamp, one person dead, one person chased. Uh, thing is, you didn't, uh, yeah, you didn't even know about this bug if you played this game a bit. Because you just never go into swamp anyway in the first place. But yeah, you go into swamp. You, you go into swamp. You can get. You can be guaranteed that you don't get rest at higher rank, higher level place. Oh People just God. would not res you. Because why would you do that? So I repeat, do not go don't into go swamp, swamp water. Seriously. Right, another person is dying. In the meantime, we are almost four minutes into the game. And not a single ritual actually has been done yet. Ritual takes only about two minutes to complete it. That's including the time you need to look for chests and whatnot as well. Yeah, so watch that corner. You can see Spectre. Spectres are invisible but not completely undetectable. This ritual point here is actually not that easy to do because spectres can see you and actually grab you. Not that this one's any better, but you gotta make this which one you want, basically. Oh my god. 
Devs four thirty four in school. Over four minutes later, not a single ritual done. Yes. I managed to salvage the game somehow, but yeah. Here you can hear Spectre, but you can't do really much. Well, time to run. There's many loops on here you need to do that anyway, so if you watch the video, you will see some of the loops you just can do a lot to buy time. It's okay, I can just take a hit. I just ping the location because you can hear the ritual there. And you can see Spectre still chasing me, so I ping that as well. Grab a step in the ring just in case. I got camera on top. The drink stamina potion. Is she still chasing? Look behind. Yes, she's still chasing. No, nope, not anymore. So then you go and grab the stamina. No, wait. Grab the health potion. You can see the killer coming this way. You see, ping that too. Fully healed. And another health potion. So ping that. That person grabs it, even though it's not necessary. But hey ho, life goes on. Right, right. If you have a rattan, you can protect people by stunning the killer like that. And if you're coming out from a corner like that, it's very, very hard for a spectre to react to. Here, spectre thought I was teleporting in because I was right, standing right next to the pot and went ahead. But really, just watch the animation. There's no need for you to run ahead. So here I'm keeping the special location, keep saying the I and the decoy. Another one. <laughs> Standard rather than going into this part. Here. So she's again went ahead. But that's a mistake she made and she had just wasted so much time just doing that. And I make a distance because of that. I still got a rattan, so I can just do another stun. And because of a sturdy and HP that Yuri has, I actually got three hits left before she can kill me. So this here is a little waste of time. The Spectre should really destroy this wall rather than trying to get hit. <laughs> With the third person perspective, it's very very easy to dodge this. She's finally destroying that by the time it's too late. I got my stamina back, I got my camera back. And there's another part you can teleport to here as well, so it's easy to loop around again. Yeah, you can just use basically those two, chain those two parts over and over and over again if you wanted to. Just coming. Now, Spectre can't really react to the camera. It's almost no animation as you can see in the corner. Um, so you really just have to use immunity in advance. But now she uses immunity to get out of that, uh, get rid of the trap instead. Which means I can grab this rattan here. Now I was faking the hit, but she's not going for it. It's very much similar to like a fighting game where you have to react to opponent's moves and actions. So the fact that she's not doing that is better for me actually. <laughs> See, this was very very telegraphed. You could have easily activated immunity, but she didn't. She's trying to fake it out, she got immunity back, but doesn't matter. I got sturdy. <laughs> Literally doesn't matter, I got another. I took so much hits. Wasted so much time. And everybody else is doing that ritual over there. And she's finally going to do the ritual there. I need to I need to help. But it's a bit late now. I don't have a landing, do I? Oh, yep, a and all the rituals are oh done. But the chase lasted about I four minutes. The the, she literally chased me for four minutes. In which everybody else just did a ritual. Three, it, took, it took them four minutes to do three rituals. Which is a bit slow to be fair. But at least they didn't do nothing, you know? Yeah, and that's pretty much game over for Spectre in that way. So, this is why I say, when I play, when I play Spectre, that you should always spread your pressure so that everybody can feel like that they're on the edge. So they don't She's really concentrate doing the uh, rituals. That's why spreading the pressure is very, very important. Now, even in the end game situation like this, it is possible for Spectre to win. It's just that you have to use your immunity very, very well to avoid the hits. Because basically, immunity actually makes you immune to damages as well. But once the immunity wears out, you can die. 
very easily, especially if there's loads of chaplets. In this game, unfortunately, everyone seems to get rattans and holy water. Uh, no actual chaplets come out, or even traps. So, which makes the game actually very much harder to play. Uh, it's very hard to exercise any anyone. Rattans take you need to take twenty seven hits with the rattans to be to be exercised, whereas um, whereas chaplets because they do forty damage, that's seven hits. You can exercise a specter with seven hits, but unfortunately we're just not getting the luck with the um, chest. So one person's died. I will die in roughly about two hits. Just sort of trying to make distance, but now she's got immunity. As the other person ran out, at this point you really have to make a decision whether you want to stay or not because with two people with no items it's almost impossible to win the uh, endgame RNG is real um, if you don't get chaplets it's, it's, it's gonna be hard it's almost impossible without chaplets you need at least a couple of chaplets to be able to do anything so yeah, you judge your situation whether it's escape or st exercise and in this case, they all left. They all left. escape. Oh, we didn't get any. Ch didn't get any chaplets. The killer kind of knew what she was doing. She's not low level killer, but only only mistake they made was just chasing one person. Never chase. This is why you don't ever chase one person. <laughs> God damn it! If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I upload videos on a daily basis. If you got any suggestions or anything you have in mind, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching.